Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and I'm so excited to be sharing with you Penny Black's newest collection called Shining Wings. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, we have new foil and new stick and shine designs. And we'll take a look first at our new collection of foil colors. And it is called Blooming Foil. So you're getting eight colors. The sheets are five by seven inches and you get two colors each. So we'll go ahead and take a look. I'll open that up for you because I know with foils, sometimes it's hard to tell um, on the packaging and even in photographs what it looks like. So I'm just going to show you here. This is how I actually open up my packaging and store mine. And so I just put it right back in there when I'm done. But this is how beautiful these colors are. They're so great for your spring and summer foils. Now we do have one in here as you can see. You can kind of see through it. It's a little bit more transparent. It gives a beautiful satin finish. It's just the perfect color pink so we've included that for you. So we've got purples and pinks, blues and greens but in these really dynamic and beautiful colors for spring and summer. Just all things blooming. We've tried to also give you some a light and a dark version of each color. So if you want to mix and match on your cards, that will have you covered. So you can see there more of an olive green and then now this more of a grass green. And we've got the more reddish pink, dark purple, magenta. So and again, you're getting two of each color. So that is what comes in those packs. Just showing you there what is included in that new foil pack. Now we have four new stick and shine designs. You get two of these pages of these sheets. So the first is Border Bliss. Here is Border Bliss on all with all of those new foil colors. So a little peek at that. And if you are new to our stick and shine designs, I'm going to give you a look at throughout this video how these work, but I will also link for you down in the YouTube description box below a more detailed video showing lots of different techniques and sort of slower how to with our stick and shine designs. But essentially these stick and shine designs are a way that you can add foil to your projects without any expensive tools or heat. So I'm going to just showing you here, you just trim off the one that you would like. Now with all of these four designs, these new designs, we also wanted to give you designs that you can use with your stash or with new stamps and dies. So you peel off the backing, press it down. We have an applicator tool or you can just use your finger or even like a credit card. You apply it to your smooth cardstock and you put down your foil shiny side up. Now this is the one that is a little bit transparent. I just wanted to show you what a beautiful finish this has. You're just going to rub that on top. So it transfers a sticky design which the foil then sticks to and that is all you have to do and you get these beautiful foil designs. This has like a soft satin finish. That's the one, the new foil that looks just a little bit transparent. And then all the rest are your typical very shiny foils. Here again is another one from that Border Bliss collection. I'm putting down that foil shiny side up. I'm going to rub that with my applicator tool or you can just use your finger or like I said an old credit card and you get that gorgeous foiled design, that shine. And these border designs work so great with new stamps and dies or stamps and dies from your stash. So I made a selection of cards and I'm just going to show you them here on video. I will have still shots coming up at the end, but this is the best way to capture the beautiful new colors of that foil and the shine. And what I like to do is just do ink blending with distress inks and an ink blending tool and a foam pad over the top of the foil design. It will resist that ink. And I think it just gives a subtle tone on tone look, but just has that extra special something of the foil. So if you've been wanting to try some foil on your cards, but you don't want to invest in anything really expensive. This is great. It's easy to just get out and do it. So there aren't like a lot of barriers to getting it on your card. Again, this is all those new blooming foil colors with the Border Bliss stick and shine designs. And just with that one package of the Border Bliss, you can make a lot of cards with it. So you just trim apart the border that you want to use and put it on your card. 
Next up we have the Stick and Shine Design Shining Wings. As you can see here we've packed on lots of butterflies and dragonflies, some sentiments and even some flowers, but you can get a lot of these on your cards and they make a beautiful accent to other stamps and dies that you may have in your stash or new ones that you are adding to your collection. You just transfer that sticky design and add your foil on top. Again, a more detailed video will be linked for you down below. Here again is that um, one that has a little bit more of a satin finish. So I just wanted to give you a look at those two together. Both beautiful, a couple of the different pinks from that blooming collection. We also have a metallic pack and just like a classic colors pack. And I will um, link those for you down in the YouTube description box below. In fact, what I will do is I will link for you a blog post that lists all of the products and the cards that you see in this entire video with each product listed below them in that blog post. So if you see a card you like and you wanna know exactly what was used on it, that blog post will help you out with that. This is also from that Shining Wing set. Again, just transferring that onto the paper, laying my foil on its shiny side up, and applying that on top. It is that easy and so, so pretty. And that floral design is just gorgeous when it catches the light. So here are several cards I made. What I really enjoyed doing was I transferred a whole bunch of the butterflies and I inked over the top of them. Basically it just filled in color into the circles on the inside of the butterflies and then I just fussy cut them out and added them to my cards. You can also add them directly to your card if you would like and I will show you a card where I've done that. but it's just such a nice special little touch and if you're wondering about any of the stamps that you're seeing here or sentiments all of that is coming up for you here as we continue on in the video here's where I've applied them directly to the card and used our metallic foil on top just a very elegant and a fun little accent that you can add to your cards Next up we have another new stick and shine design. This is Shining Wishes. You're getting so many useful sentiments in this. Sending smiles, happy birthday, hello, thanks, happy, enjoy, sending a big hug. You get two sheets in your package. You're gonna peel off the backing sheet, press that onto your smooth cardstock. I'm rubbing it on with our applicator tool and then I will put our foil shiny side up. Again, giving you another look at those foil colors from the Blooming Foil Collection. Just so, so pretty, especially in real life. It's hard to capture it on camera or even on video. And I'll do another one here for you. I love this um, font of this Hello. And you can apply them before you make your whole card design or after. I'm just doing them before here just to give you a look at the stick and shine process and how easy it is to do. It's just really fun to do. It's also fun to do um, if you're making projects with kids or if you're working them with a new stamper because you really get a wow effect without a lot of skill or supplies needed. So here are a couple cards I made with that Shining Sentiment Collection. I've got that hello on here and that beautiful purple from the Blooming Foil Collection. Just catching it there in the light. And another here with that pretty sort of satiny pink. Catch that in the light for you. And then finally our last new Stick and Shine design is our Shimmering Geometrics. And same process here. I'm just going to cut apart the piece that I want. Now these are fairly large size. So on all of these where I've been showing the application, it's on a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So that gives you a good idea of the size of each of these designs. So you could even trim these apart and use them as a border. What I did with them, with both of these that come in the shimmering geometrics, is use them with our posted die cut and it made such a great accent 
with um, that design. So if you've been following my videos, you know I'm in love with that posted uh, stamp and die set. And so any way I can find a jazz it up, I will. And this is how I've done it here with using this foiled design. And so here are the cards. As you can see, I've used that foil design and cut it out with our posted die. And then just added that as an accent behind the focal point image there and that focal sort of postage stamp design. So that's what I love about these stick and shine designs. They're really made for you to add that just special little something to your cards, but you still get to use your favorite stamps and dies with them. So moving on, like I said, this whole release is not just stick and shine designs. We also have some new stamps and dies for you. First up, we have two new really beautiful heartfelt sentiment sets. The first here is 31-056, Brighten the World. You can hit pause if you want a chance to read them all in more detail, but I've used it throughout on these cards and I just love this set. You brighten the world just by being you. There's a nice variety of sentiments in the set that um, can be used for many different occasions and different recipients but just really pretty and really um, fun fonts for the sentiments as well. Your heart and my heart are very old friends. Just really beautiful sentiments. And then we also have another new sentiment set. This is 31-057, Deepest Sympathy. Again, you can hit pause if you want to look at those in more detail, but really, really touching, heartfelt, and beautiful sentiments for sympathy card creation. So I have um, a card sample here featuring that, along with some of our new stamps and that stick and shine design. But lots of different options in size and font included on that sentiment set. Now we also have some new die cuts and to me these are the most graceful die cuts. It's just a word I think of to describe them as graceful. They are so beautiful. The first here is 51-817 Refresh. You're getting three different flowers included in this set. All of these dies are super easy to use. They're a wonderful size to make an impact on your card. They can really be the focal point. So this is on a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. On all the cards I've made with these dies, I kept things very clean and simple and just let the beauty and the graceful lines of the dies do the work. Next up is 51-821 Dignified. And here I've combined it with that refresh die. Again, keeping things very simple, pulling in a new sentiment and our all-in-one octagon, a part of that die set. Again, all of the cards that you're seeing here are shown on a coordinating blog post. Underneath each card, it will list and link every product used for that individual card. So I'll link that for you in the YouTube description box below. This is 51-819 Flower Family. So here, just again, a very clean and simple card, mixing and matching these with our embossing folders, but keeping a clean and simple look, just white on white with a pop of the die cut flowers. And here I'm going to use the flower family with this new die, 51-820 Ascending. So with the greenery dies, the ascending and the dignified, all of these flowers are going to work beautifully with those. So in just five sets, you can make tons and tons of cards with them. And then we also have 51-818 Layered Bloom. This is super easy to assemble. You can use it as just one piece, or you can take those two other pieces and just layer them on top for just the prettiest uh, bit of dimension. So very simple, very graceful and beautiful, but easy, easy to do. So I made a couple of cards with this. Here I paired it with that ascending, and here I paired it with the watering can from my stash. And again, keeping some white on white embossing and letting the flowers and the colors really pop from the greenery and the flowers. Next up, we have a garden of cling stamps. So you've seen these on cards with the stick and shine designs, but here we'll look at them individually. This is 40-923 Luminous. 
really beautiful roses. Um, I love the oval shape giving you the spot to put that sentiment if you want to or some butterflies in there. So this first card shows that stamp on a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch sized card. Next up is another card that is the same standard size, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Here I've stamped it and heat embossed it with white embossing powder and then painted it in for just a different look. And then this shows that same stamp on a five by seven card. So really versatile, you can fit it on a standard size card, but it's also large enough to have big open flowers to color or paint and it can fit on a larger card if you like. Here is 40-924 Heaven Scent. Really unique flowers in here and I love the jar that they're in. Here it is on a standard size card. We've got that beautiful stick and shine border along the side. And again, fitting on a standard size card with a stick and shine border bliss along the other side. And then I also wanted to show this on a five by seven card. So even though these are large stamps, they are very versatile to fit on whatever size card that you prefer working with. Another way you can use this particular stamp and many of the other stamps in this collection is use just a portion of that stamp. So here I've put it on our posted stamp set and just used a little portion of the flowers at the top for a completely different look. Now this next stamp is super unique. This is 40-927 Artful Entry. I love this idea for welcome spring, welcome summer, congratulations on a new home. Just lots of different ways thinking of you that you could use this stamp. It's really fun to stamp and paint um, and do different color variations with it as you can see on these cards. The first was a standard size card and this is a five by seven. Here we have 40-928 Let's Garden. I love the variety of flowers in here. To me, this is just such a happy, cheerful stamp. Here it is on a standard size card. You could also turn your card landscape and fit it on your standard A2 size card. And here it is on a five by seven. And with just different colorway I love doing that red wheelbarrow. And then again, here I'm just using the very top. So if you don't want to include the wheelbarrow, you can get extra use out of this, more versatility by just using the flowers from the top. Next up is 40-929 Sophistication. This is a really beautiful stamp that you can use in many different ways, different orientations on your card. This is a standard size card, the four and a quarter by five and a half inch with that stamp. Again, I'm so loving that Border Bliss Stick and Shine design. It's just such a simple way to finish off a card, but give it a wow factor. Here I've stamped and embossed this, heat embossed this in white, and then painted it in on a square card. And then finally, I will show you that sophistication stamp on a five by seven card. I hope you've enjoyed today's video that you've gotten inspired. I'd love to know which product or products you're most excited about. Please leave us a comment down in down below in the comment section. We read each and every one and we appreciate you watching so much. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. And you can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as Instagram, our website and blog. And all of those are linked for you down in the description box. Happy stamping!